This is KAG's HD Sports. If there's one term that I'm not really a fan of, it's the term lukewarm. How anything with the name Luke can be just so-so is beyond me. But if you were looking for a term to describe the Texas A&M baseball team this season, lukewarm is probably the right fit, at least until this past weekend. On the road at number seven, Vanderbilt, the Aggies stole two of three games, giving the Commodores their first home series loss in two years. After so many ups and downs early on this season, this weekend series win is the confidence booster the Maroon and White have been looking for. I think we just figured out how good we really can be. You know, we've been uh, we've been playing a while, just all right. You know, hadn't really been playing great, and uh, to go on the road and, and to play good and to take down a team like that just proves that we are good enough to go and compete with anybody in the SEC. So uh, that I think that's something we can take forward and, and not have to uh, not have to think, man. You know, I don't know if we're good enough to play this team because you know we are good enough to play against all these teams. The Aggies try to keep the momentum going tomorrow night when they host Abilene Christian over at Bluebell Park. That first pitch on Wednesday set for 635. Now last week, Clemson offensive lineman Brandon Thomas suffered an ACL injury working out for the New Orleans Saints. That injury has forced some prospects like defensive end Jadavian Clowney to stop working out for teams and only allowing the interviews. Apparently that's not the case for Aggie Heisman winner Johnny Manziel. According to the Cleveland Plain dealer, Manziel will meet with the Browns this weekend. Cleveland was one of two teams not at Manziel's Pro Day in College Station. Therefore, this will be their best chance to see Johnny Football operate in person. Cleveland has the fourth overall pick in this year's draft, which gets started in New York on May 8th. In SEC basketball news, John Calipari told ESPN he's motivated to help his players over at Kentucky. And right now it seems he will stay in the collegiate ranks instead of making the jump to the NBA. But over at Tennessee, the Vols are looking for a new head coach after Quanzo Martin decided to leave for Cal. Martin was introduced as the new head coach of the Bears, leaving Tennessee after just three seasons. This year, Martin actually led the Vols to the Sweet 16. And the awards just keep coming in for Aggie runner Dion Lindor, this time adding SEC Runner of the Week to his resume. Lindor ran the world's fastest 400 meter this past weekend in Arizona. Anum Shamir Little was named the Women's SEC Runner of the Week as well. Now tonight at 10, we're going to hit some high school baseball fields. We'll have some of those highlights later on. We wrap things up after the break.